we want to do a phased approach yes. and so we're grateful to the operators that have already started to make some modernization and changes you may have seen some newer buses that are actually on the road yes. the whole idea is for us to get to where it is that we need to go but first to understand that it actually requires high capital mm -hmm. so ideally what we're doing from the operator standpoint we are providing them with additional information if it is that you have an older fleet you have higher maintenance cost yes and so with a newer fleet as we know even with our private vehicles the lee bucket truck you know at the end of the day will cost us a little bit more may break down on that's the road true. Yep. That's totally something true. newer yes so it's, it's from that perspective mm -hmm. and so what we're doing now we're talking about more information and then expectation is that come january 2023 we will see an increase in the modernization of the buses um, that it is that you're currently seeing on the road not just newer buses but we're looking also at the safety aspect mm -hmm. and that will then extend all the way up to 2024 end of 2024 so operators ideally have two years in order for them to get to where it is that the project information is stating that you need to get to so you can be sustainable mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. but also that there's safety mm -hmm. for the the commuters mm -hmm. and then on the other side it also has to do with scheduling which means reliability mm -hmm. it means i know that my bus will be coming in 15 minutes yeah. i know if i'm not able to catch this bus there's another one that will be coming mm -hmm. a few minutes later or mm -hmm. i know another bus will be sent